Right, good morning everybody. Hope you're doing very well. This is actually a weirdly heavily requested video. I wasn't really planning on making it today. My arm got forced because I'll put in a clip now. My beloved Super Adventures rear wheel bearings decided to pack it up, pack itself in, pack it up, plug it in, monkey on. So, as you can see, I'm on the little monkey bike. I've ridden in London before when I did the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride earlier this year. But I've never commuted on it, and a few people said they really want to see this. Let's get on the road, shall we? My commute consists of a 25, 26 mile uh, each way. The Super Adventure works really well for it for the motorway section there's about 10 or 11 miles on a motorway the remainder of that 25 26 miles in London the thing where I think this thing's going to shine massively so is in the traffic in London because you can just dart in and out of traffic so easily where you can't do that on the Super Adventure it's slower on the Super Adventure once I get into London because it's a bit more difficult to actually maintain any form of speed whereas this I think should be okay the other thing I'm really really interested in I've not had a problem with people pulling out on me on this bike so far, like pulling out in front of me or whatever, but I want to see what it's actually like, because my Super Adventure I've got Denali's, I've got that massive front headlight as well, whereas this has only got this tiny little headlight, plus I'm uh, quite a lot lower down, so my thinking being I might have some problems being seen. One thing I have noticed already is I'm missing my heated seat. <laughs> the only thing I'm worrying about is we're mid midway through a storm essentially last night was horrendous weather it's been raining all morning so it's properly wet i'm on a nine horsepower monkey bike or ten and a half if you include the uh scorpion exhaust <laughs> on knobbly tires so i'm not incredibly <laughs> excited about this commute i'm not gonna lie if i can make this tolerable to commute on i mean it costs five quid to fill up i have to put premium fuel in this because I don't hit the five pound minimum <laughs> the one bit I'm not actually looking forward to at all is the motorway because this thing tops out at 55 60 my ABS light's going to be flashing the whole way through London isn't it because that's what happens when you stick knobbly tyres and a small sprocket on the front go 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 uh, knobbly tyres in the wet uh, oh it looks really disgusting on the motorway if I could do, get this thing to do like 75 80 mile an hour like actual GPS speed then it means that I wouldn't have to worry about overtakes 71 <laughs> I've been undertaken by a van gotta move back over See, that says 72, but I know I'm not doing 72. I think I'm doing about, sort of, 65 at best. I can't really move over. I'm losing my speed. That's it. As soon as you lose your speed, you've scrubbed it off and you're done. And then uh, I, I just can't overtake. Come on! Yeah, boy! We got our first big overtake on the motorway! <laughs> also, bike stop, I saw your sticker. Cheeky. I've got a bike behind me. Hello. Hello, bike friend. Oh, he's got gloves, heated gloves on. Oh, there's the ABS light. There you go, thought that would happen. To be fair, it's not been too bad. Like, no one's not seen me yet. I'm gonna wait for this car to come out. Go on. Oh, do you know what's going to be really funny? I've got my bike cover that I left in the car park. That is super adventure sized. So that thing on this bike is going to be hilarious. <laughs> so it's been about 15 minutes to get here rather than 10. But this is where it's going to get easier. Apart from I've just I've fitted a bloody camera to my bars. Oh yeah, I don't have a blipper. I thought I had a quick shifter and blipper on this for some reason. What I might do is put my high beams on, just to get people to see me come in. <laughs> Only problem is I don't know where my 
Don't know where my mirrors are. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't have got through any of those gaps. All of these big mirrors. So where my super adventure struggles is getting past any of these sort of vans and stuff, I wouldn't be able to get through at all. <laughs> yeah, this is where the monkey shines. Oh, it's raining a lot on my face. Yeah, still missed it. Yeah, boy. My legs are soaked as well. Absolutely soaked. I should have put my leg over trouser thingies on. Oh, very nice. Oh, Porsche 911. Very nice. Yeah, there's no way on earth I'd get anywhere near this quick on the Super Adventure. This gap here, not even a close, close chance to be getting through that. This is where the monkey's going to shine, people. This is where the monkey's going to shine. Because I think that's the problem with these Super Adventures. You've just got such massive wide handlebars and even when you're sort of managed to get your handlebars through you've then got to worry about how fat the tank is and how fat the crash bars are and all that sort of stuff whereas this is just so small like if the handlebars get through you're getting through no no thank you <laughs> see that one saw me as well <laughs> High beams back on. Yeah, see, this is the thing that works well with a monkey. This guy's parked like an absolute plum, so I just go around the cars. I have to say, though, the Super Adventure definitely wakes people up to me being visible. Because, like, all these people would see me coming, and if they don't see me coming, they'd hear me coming. Whereas this is, although it sounds probably quite loud on the microphone, it's not loud at all. I wouldn't do it on a stock one because you just can't hear a thing. So maybe what I need is some Denali's. Steve at a bike thing. I'm coming for you, mate. <laughs> so nimble through the traffic. Right, let's quickly off and on. Reset that thing. There you go. I now have ABS again. <laughs> Don't pull over, please. Can I just at least get through before you kill me? <laughs> Every time I hit the <laughs> limiter, that's so funny. And see this bit, as soon as I get into London, this is a 50 mile an hour speed limit. So it's fine. That's first. Would be nice to have a little gear indicator as well. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, see, none of this I'd get through. Coming over, thanks bro. Oh, I hate London so much. Boop, 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 boop. Cover that front brake, Sam. I'm just a little bit more wary that I want to... Wee, that was close. <laughs> Corners change the height of your mirrors, Sam. I reckon once I'm in London or off the motorway, this might be quicker, you know. Nope, okay. Yeah, see, look how quick I just change direction whenever I want. <laughs> uh, funny. I feel a little bit more vulnerable because obviously the bike's tiny like absolutely minuscule I'm aware that it's although I haven't had a problem with people pulling out on me I'm well aware that I'm not going to be seen as easy as I would be on the Super Adventure again massive bike massive headlights massive Denali's plus quite a loud exhaust as well and although this is louder get off your phone yeah my legs are quite wet I miss having the Super Adventure for some form of weather protection. Nope, okay. Yep. See, I could not do this on the Super Adventure. Could not at all. Look at this, man. <laughs> Cabs? No. 
<laughs> uh, funny. Leaves, wet weather, knob leaves, and no rear ABS. <laughs> the recipe for success. Right? It's great. It struggles on the motorway, but like. You can get about 60, wow, which is happy. really worrying on knobblies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how much you guys have heard because the microphone's been hanging out the bottom for the last however long, but we shall know, we shall see. Um, that guy was really nice, little Cornish guy. He really liked it, he did. Synopsis, I guess. For the most part, it's been really good. The ability to flick it through traffic, do skids. Like that. <laughs> the fact that you can flick left and right without really worrying, and if you need to change direction, just stick your leg out, and it changes direction so quickly. So for once you get into London, it's been brilliant. It's more than fast enough. It's it's quite fun as well. So it's really good for London. It's a little bit daunting compared to um, obviously the Super Adventure because it hasn't got the size, the lights, or anything like that for it. But overall, it's been really useful, like really good. Plus, it's a lot of fun. You get a bit more of a reaction from people. I think that was a, an overall success. So uh, let's go lock it up, see if it's still there when I get home. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next week's video. I'm going to go down into Soho. Uh, bye.